Libra, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you're new here, hello, hello. My name is Zachary. If you are returning, it's good to see you guys again. Thank you for your love and support as always. Pull up a chair, my friends. So Libra, getting right on into your message here. There were, um, well, there was one message that came through here in meditation as far as channel messages go. This is actually a message that seems to be starting off with not a lot of information. Um, so I don't know, maybe you're starting a new venture of some sort. There's a new chapter in your life that's starting that um, is not giving you a lot of information. The image that came through in channel messages for you guys at this time was a balloon animal dog in the color red. So the way that I dissect the message from that is... Um, fun, okay, having fun with the balloon animal itself or the balloon, the red symbolizing passion, also connection to the root chakra. So stability or grounding an event or uh, happening activity. Maybe you are experiencing a bit of anxiety towards something, especially if something new is starting. I can definitely see that being the situation. And the dog being one of loyalty. I also extrapolate front of fun from the dog as well so let's get into this you guys um spirit also or we'll get right into oracle cards there were none that were requested to be pulled off camera so i feel like i'm <laughs> right as i split to the unseen <clears throat> i feel like that's what we're talking about um something you're going in blind so to speak to something <laughs> that's too funny so we're gonna pull all cards on camera here i'm i'm just as um blind to this message as you are so let's see where this goes um the, <laughs> uh, the unseen just slipped off here as i'm holding this right on into the castle so the castle is it's already kind of making a bit of sense to me the castle is a form of a fortress protection it can be a safe place to be but we can also uh, trap ourselves in the castle and keep ourselves away from anybody else. While it might be keeping us safe, it is also keeping us from the ability to uh, find enjoyment, to find new things in life, make new connections, that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see here. What do we have for Libra, spirit? The river. Okay. The river. So... This um, actually pulls me back to a cancer reading uh, back in spring. Many tears. <laughs> it was actually titled The Tears The Tears Will Flow. Um, this came out here at the end. Now, the river is what I'm getting from this is this process. There's this request or energy surrounding you at this time that's requesting that you do step into this river. There's this horse imagery here. Uh, being freedom. So stepping into this river, like a form of baptism, if you want to look at it that way, purifying or cleansing an experience, allowing freedom to prevail here. So with that castle coming through and the unseen, I'm getting the vibe that there is an experience of feeling trapped in something that maybe once kept you feeling safe. And I don't feel like it's, there's nothing that was done wrong or it, it is wrong to be in the castle. It's, it's feeling like this message is coming through at this time to express or to show that there is freedom available. There's a new start. There's a fresh start to something that's available. But this does require that you step out of the castle, okay? What else do we have here for Libra? Ooh. The crone. And Alethea come through. So this is interesting with the rose imagery here because the um, the balloon animal dog that I that I saw at first kind of started off as like the point of the nose and the ears were made out of these like wicker roses. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually read this one from the book here. But the crone. So we're talking about the archetypes of Mother Maiden Crone being the final um, presentation here. This is a very uh, deeply wise archetype. I feel like you are stepping into or there's this ability to step into through the cleansing of the river into this energy 
of magic, of seeing, of, of wisdom is what I'm getting. Seeing something and um, in a situation or about yourself that maybe you weren't seeing before, that crow being magical sight. Okay, I feel like there's something in the book with Althea, like I said. I'm feeling drawn. Truth. Yes, of course. <laughs> so seeing some truth. Um, our soul recognizes the truth when someone speaks it. A cool wave of relief washes over the room and all the facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Althea. It has an undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can always recognize Althea by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. Interesting. The Alethea card requires us to step forward toward an act of truth. This might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act, or a ritual that honors the unveiling of what's been concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way, is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health, and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings. Set it free. Freedom, you guys. Yes. Hey, I love this. Um, with the castle coming through the river and, and Alethea as well. It feels like this is not just freedom that's available. Just freedom, right? Feeling more free in stepping into whatever this truth is that is wanting to be um, seen or expressed by you. This is um, authenticity. Choosing authenticity over connection. And this feels like um, there may be, it doesn't have to be a relationship necessarily, but um, an old job, a traumatic event from the past, something that whatever caused you to move into this castle archetype, uh, the truth shall set you free. The truth is, mm, let's see, let's find out. Uh, let's pull a wild unknown animal archetype card here for Libra. Please, spirit, for Libra. <laughs> I do love my job. Okay, um, hyena here at the bottom to start. So the hyena, uh, nature's comedian, right? What I'm getting from this card is uh, there may be, like when we're talking about truth, truth humor, this can be a part of it, but sometimes we can use humor to cover things up, something that hurts, right? Or the truth, something that we don't find pleasing. Hmm? The recommendation with the hyena here is if there is a struggle to um, maybe maintain a balance between humor, seriousness, if you're leaning on humor to cover something up, I actually recommend sobriety. This doesn't always have to be a substance this is talking about. It could be, um, I think about like the hermit card is, is what's coming up. Maybe there is a need to detox from certain relationships or connections or stories or programs from the past, right? Right. The oyster is what came out here. So the oyster here, <laughs> the recommendation is to not clam up <laughs> or to open oneself up here. <laughs> you guys, hey. We're opening something up, all right? I am being drawn back to the imagery of Alethea here with the roses. I do get protection with the rose. Uh, my favorite flower, for sure. If you've been watching me for a minute, you've seen my floral prints. <laughs> uh, but being in the light and the dark here, this feels like ultimate protection is what I'm feeling. Whatever this truth is that, like your truth is that, is wanting or needing to be seen. And this does feel like something that's required to move you to whatever your next phase is. It's not the end of the world if you don't partake in this, but this feels like you, you deserve this. You deserve this freedom. I'm just seeing like shackles being removed. Okay, let's get into the tarot, you guys. I'm excited for this message. I'm excited. Let's do the Curious Travels Tarot. What? There's one. Which one? A crow. Okay. I want a crow card first. All right. Urban Crow Oracle, and then we'll get into Tarot. For Libra here, please, Spirit. Whammy, no whammy. <laughs> My goodness. Um, okay. Routine and growth come out here. Protection here at the bottom, you guys. Is there an echo in here? Mm -mm. It feels like 
the, st the stars are aligning here, right? To provide a protective space. I'm seeing this clear cube, this plexiglass cube. It is uh, bulletproof, mm, bulletproof glass, interesting. This bullet, hmm, this bullet is something, this is what you're running from or protecting yourself in the castle, okay. You're being placed inside of a container here where that, <clears throat> you are safe from that situation. Person, place, thing, animal, vegetable, mineral, whatever it is. Okay, but I don't, I don't feel that this is something you are feeling. Maybe you're not feeling the protection. So routine and growth. Um, yes, I do feel like this is a major opportunity and form of growth for you guys. Routine, um, what I'm getting from this is a need to break what is familiar to you. In order for us to grow, there is discomfort, right? We grow through discomfort. Okay, now let's get into the tarot here. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what do we have here for Libra? And uh, hey, actually, channel hit one year, October 6th. So to celebrate, I am giving away a free reading. If you guys are interested in um, entering for a chance to win a free reading there, I am going to post a link in the description of the video here to the video, the other video. that will also be down in this corner at the end of the video. You can just click on it. There's a small uh, video that I talk about how to enter and my year, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to check that out, feel free. I will have that running here till the end of the month, and then I'll draw names. All right, what do we have for Libra here, Spirit? And huge shout out to my channel members, of course. Hello, you guys. Knight of Wands falls out here. Getting back up and trying again. I, you, I feel like there's, <laughs> there's a request here to exit the castle. It's time to step back into creativity, back to the balloon animal, dog, having fun. What brings, um, what brings you energy? What, what do you get excited about? Okay, channel members, hello, hello. If you're interested in becoming one yourself, there's a link in the description here. You can click to check that out or there's a join button next to the subscribe under this video as well. I do have private readings open. You can check out my website. There's a link in the description of this video too. I'd love to help you guys with something a bit more personal to you as this is a general reading. The Fool here at the Split. There's a new journey, you guys. New journey that's starting, but this requires a leap of faith. So I do feel there's a great deal of fear here. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please, Spirit? What in the hell's going on for Libra? <laughs> I split here to the Knight of Wands again. Okay, it's time to get back up and try again. Whatever this horse symbolizes for you guys where you were bucked off, whatever this bullet is, there's a request to not let it keep you down. I, I do get that um, I'm feeling a sting. There was something that knocked you off this horse, but it wasn't meant to keep you down. The fool again here at the split, you guys. <laughs> yes, okay, new journey. I love you too, Spirit. All right, what do we have going on here for Libra, please? <laughs> oh, too fun. I feel my face is getting red. Strength here at the bottom. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams, your desire, strength. There's a desire here. I, I feel, you guys, this isn't um, an illusion towards yourself that you are in, a, in the castle, uh, that there is a form of protection uh, around you. And this isn't, I'm not talking about a general sense of protection. You know, we may need day to day um, just to stay safe energetically. This is something that there was a greater protection put around the experience because there was a great amount of pain. This pain, I do feel, like I said, this isn't an, this isn't, um, an illusion to you or an illumination to you, this reading in general, that, um, this situation is going on, but your hope here is to find the strength. Your hope here is to find this divine component to yourself, the higher, component to yourself to lead you through this pain. This animal inside of you, right, is angry, hurt. There's a need for some compassion and love. And you're hoping you understand that and you're hoping for that from others as well. Okay. All right. Uh, Lightseer's Tarot will do for your second deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Libra? My Libra friends. 
Like I said, you guys, sun here at the split. Yay, it's time to let the sun in. It's um, inside that castle, there, there are no windows, right? We can't let the sun in because it's not possible. So we need to let the drawbridge down and, and move out into the sun ourselves. Okay, what do we have here for Libra? And like I said, this is a general reading. So keep that in mind. You guys are totes intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which of these messages are for you, if they are, and if they're not, feel free to leave them behind. No need to take it personally if it's not, right? <laughs> okay, uh, check out any other major placements in your chart or there's, hey, there's the hermit, that Virgo energy. Um, we do have every, every zodiac sign in our chart, just depends on which house, so. Feel free and happy Scorpio season, you guys, as we're moving into Scorpio. It's a time for death and rebirth. Hey, <laughs> there's strength there at the bottom again. Um, actually, no, okay. You want me to hold up there? Okay. Your fear, aversion. So this is both your hope and your fear. Okay. You understand that there is a need, whatever is going on here, there's a need to um to pull this higher divine strength for yourself, but there's a there's a fear or anxiety over this. I don't, for some of you, I feel like it's, it's a concern over finding this strength. For others of you, I feel like it's, um, it's a feeling of like, you know, you have this strength here, but it's kind of a, what is the point in pulling the strength forward? It, may, it didn't work for me last time, whatever that is. Okay, let's move forward. So general energy here to start, King of Cups. Yeah, that makes sense. So King of Cups here, the notion of devotion to master the motion of your emotion ocean. This is a time here to wrang I'm kidding, wrangle the emotions, all right? Being in this castle, whatever the situation is that has caused this retreat into protection, there's a lot of emotions that were a part of that, right? That with the strength cards here... <laughs> the emotional experience of the lower animal experience. So this is an opportunity here to master an emotional experience. I do feel a lot of um, what I'm getting. Okay. I'm being drawn back to the balloon animal dog, like a, a circus, you know, a clown putting this balloon animal together. Um, <clears throat> you can feel that there's the circus is in town or, you know, maybe you got a, a letter in the mail, you know, the circus is in town. You want to go to the circus, but there's something about this circus, this playground where last time you attended, there was something that went wrong. The ride you were riding uh, broke down while you were upside down. There's some sort of trauma surrounding this circus. And this could be literal for some of you. I know some people have uh, like fear of clowns and that sort of thing. Um, could be literal for some of you. This is more of an example of um, <clears throat> like the paradise of fun is kind of what I'm getting. It's time to allow yourself entry back into this playground. Okay. <laughs> The Hermit, <clears throat> to clarify the King of Cups. Virgo energy here. We're talking about retreat, as I was saying that. Retreating here into, into the castle. Um, there may... I don't even... I feel like you guys, Alethea is standing out to me here. There's something truth-wise... So the truth here is this light that's inside of you. We may seek the truth outside of ourselves, but in truth... It is inside of ourselves that we're going to find the truth. It feels like this truth is coming through, but there's difficulty in uh, fully allowing it to, to stay at your table. Because what does this mean if this truth is the truth? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I want a little bit more on that, please, here, Spirit. 2002 on the timer. Nice mirror number there. Pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. <laughs> okay, so this is feeling like the, the truth here inside that you 
have access to or you can see at this time, Libra. For some of you, it's a red flag. For some of you, it is direction to go some to this playground, you know, where there is fun. I'm feeling that there's a like there's a distrust in your own navigation system is what's coming through. Is this a red flag? What I'm hearing is that line um, from Bojack Horseman. It's funny, all the red flags just look like flags when you're wearing rose colored glasses. Whatever the situation is, like I said, that retreat happened into this protective castle. Maybe there were red, there were red flags that were present that could have maybe saved you from that pain. This doesn't feel like a failure in, in whatever happened here with the pain or, or trauma. None of us get out of here with no trauma or pain. This is earth school and the point is to learn and we learn through pain. Not that I'm happy that anybody experiences any of that, but it's also an inevitability to life, right? Just like change. <laughs> We know that there's also going to be pain. So it feels like there is a, a difficulty in identifying, is this, is this a, a sign for me to move forward or is this a sign for me to stop? I feel like there's a need to watch the emotions and to retreat in a peaceful way. There's something about compassion towards the self. I'm just feeling a great deal of fear like a distrust towards the self. Like I said, I can't even trust myself to make the right decisions. <laughs> I keep I keep getting hurt or I keep being put in situations where there is pain or reasons to fear more. Mm. Okay. I mean, we're talking about growth, so Okay. It's time there's a need to step into this river. I'm drawn back to the river there. In order to free yourself from these chains, whatever that looks like for you, the choice has to be made to step into this river. This river, uh, I am seeing kind of, well, the high priestess, the river behind her. She's beckoning you to this river, but there's this distrust even in her. I don't know if you heard that horn honk. <laughs> Very like uh, clown horn honk. <laughs> it was a car, but... <laughs> Okay, um, good stuff. Let's move into good stuff here for you guys. Knight of Cups comes through. Well, well, well. Um, there's a component of fertility to this, to the Knight of Cups here. Being in front of, in the standard rider weight deck, that horse is standing in front of a river. <laughs> Whatever the knight plants in front of that river will grow. So there's a sign here for you guys. You're in fertile on fertile ground, and similar to the high priestess, like I was saying, visualizing that. She is about the fertility in the subconscious. It feels like um, there's, a, there's a fear over your own ability to grow what it is that you need and want to grow. And this could be, you know, trauma, abuse even, towards the self that made it difficult to trust, like I said, or like if it was a relationship, something, you know, a painful ending, making it difficult to, or feeling like it's difficult to trust yourself again. The Knight of Cups here, though, being in the good, good staff, this, this can symbolize um, new romance <laughs> blossoming. Because it's in the good spot here, I'm kind of vacillating back to that fear. There's a concern over like, um, you know, maybe you are pursuing a new relationship. Maybe you're wanting to put yourself out there, but there's a fear. Is everybody just going to be, um, you know, an F boy or F girl, F non-binary human? Is everybody just out to get their cup filled in that way? Because this is in the good spot, I feel that this is actually showing you, um, no, not everybody is out for that. Or that it's possible to have your cup filled and have it be, a mutually beneficial situation to have it be um, fertility can have a longevity component to it. But there's something about the truth. Okay, we'll keep going here. 
Queen of Wands clarifies the Knight of Cups here in the good stuff. Confidence, you guys. So it, I feel like we're right on, right on point here. It's your time to heal. It's your time to heal. Whatever's happened in the past here, I'm truly sorry. The Queen of Wands, mm, well, she can symbolize a third party. <laughs> so if this is a relationship type situation for you, maybe that's what's happened in the past. Maybe there is, um, what, I, what I think about is, how does that go? When we're talking about trust, you can break a mirror as an example or metaphor. You can break a mirror and then fix that mirror. But the mind's eye will always be on where the crack was. You can never fully fix that crack, right? Like trust can be rebuilt, but in some situations, maybe it can't. Um, if this is you in that situation, I can definitely see why there was a retreat into the castle type situation. But being in the good stuff, this is, this is you finding this fire inside of you again. This is you, this black cat symbolizes... Um, the shadow portions of Venus, bad luck. In the tarot, bad luck. The cat, a black cat is bad luck. The queen of wands doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she has a black cat anyway. She does what she wants to do because she, she knows that she is getting the right information as far as signs versus red flags. She trusts herself. She has confidence in herself. This isn't something that just comes flying through your window, but this energy is absolutely being um, supported right now for you to find this within yourself. This is a part of who you are. It may have just been a second, okay? Um, so what you don't see coming or what's in the dark? You guys, nine of cups. Wee woo, yay. <laughs> wish granted, wish fulfilled. A heart's desire. I love in this deck too, um, the cups are pouring down on this individual. I think of Rain on Me by Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Um, and there's a line in there where they talk about like, I, um, I only asked you for a good time to have fun, right? The circus again. I'm not asking you for, I don't know, dependence. Um, anything more than let's go have fun. I want to have fun. But this is your a heart's desire that's being granted here. And I feel like the heart's desire, this is the truth. This is the truth we're talking about. This is your, um, your freedom, your true freedom. But I do feel there is a concern over, is it possible to ever really be free from this? Well, I mean, the brain doesn't ever fully erase trauma. Like I said, the mind's eye will always be where the crack used to be. You can fix the mirror, you can spray perfume on a turd, right? <laughs> but you're still going to smell that horse shit. Um, it may not be possible to totally erase everything that's going on in the brain, but the emotional experience with the King of Cups here that's coming through, that certainly can be adjusted. There's, there's a request here right now to pay extra attention to um, the emotions that you don't want to pay attention to right now, because they're giving, they're the ones that are giving you these messages and pay attention, the red flags and, and the guidance. The only way to learn to trust yourself again is to allow yourself into situations where you can show yourself that you can trust yourself again, or if that's somebody else, to allow yourself into situations where other people can show you that it's worth trusting other people. Whether this is a relationship, a job, um, this is a, a dream though of some sort. These two crowns are standing out to me here. King and queen, or king and king, queen and queen, who knows? Um, it feels very relationshipy <laughs> for some of you, okay? Keep moving forward here. Ace of Wands. Oh, you guys. What you don't see coming is a, an opportunity to start again. Back at the beginning here. To revivify your energy. To feel excited. To feel creative again. Um, this could be 
this could be, uh, like I said, relationship, maybe uh, you're starting a new job, or there's a, a field of interest that you tried to step into in the past, and for whatever reason, there it was not a smooth entry. <laughs> um, something happened where, what I'm kind of getting actually is an event in, um, in the family, like an, a family emergency of some sort, maybe a death, somebody fell ill, and you had to forego a dream of yours in order to tend to something else that mattered to you. And there may be a little bit of resentment. What you don't see is an opportunity to rectify that. Ooh, exciting. Um, do we want... No. One of these? Yes, okay. Uh, familiar field here, Oracle poll on what you don't see coming, Libra. Oh, the swan. <laughs> I love this game. Um, love, allure, and purity. Well, 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 Libra. Sounds like love for some of you. And the swan as well, um, I do tend to get protection from swans are <laughs> swans are the queen of, of wands right um she or the swan is not gonna they came correct right um they're very protective of their of their young or partners they will kick your ass right this feels like this energy is surrounding you at this time that plexiglass cube like i said that bulletproof glass this is this um like it's a purifying essence it's helping to transmute your um, energy, your perspective towards yourself. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Can you show me? What is this uh, protection? What is this protection? Please, spirit. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, ten of cups here at the bottom. High priestess there. These just fell all over. There's the high priestess, guys. Ten cups of cups here at the bottom. So love, <laughs> connection to the divine, happy family, um, being led to others who are connected to the divine because you are connected to the divine. But 10 of swords here fell out. So what is this protection? 10 of swords. And it did kind of come through here in reverse. The way I take this is, um, well, uh, what is that line? Redirection being a form of protection, right? The 10 of swords is rock bottom, betrayal, loss, the only thing that we do here with the Ten of Swords, though, is get the hell out of there. Um, and it's not stuffing it down and pretending it didn't exist. There is a process of healing and grief that needs to happen. But the protection that's happening right now is getting you out of this castle. <laughs> that cube is your vehicle here. Merkaba vehicle. Mm. You have this protection with you at all times. Interesting. The Merkaba body, we have a Merkaba energy surrounding our um, physical form here as a part of our energetic body. The Merkaba is, um, well, it's an upright and inverted triangle symbolizing the divine masculine and the divine feminine. It's a vehicle that can be used to travel and is a form of protection. You have this protection with you at all times. And there's a strong encouragement here to move towards, um, well, move towards the sun. I meant to say move away from the Ten of Swords, but move towards the sun here. We have to allow the sun to come in. That is a, that is a choice. Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. difficulty or challenge at this time, Libra. Temperance. <laughs> um, peace and hope balance this is this is balancing two extremes so what i'm getting from this is a struggle towards um bringing one extreme whatever this extreme was that caused you to move into this castle and bringing it closer towards the extreme of your dream finding that place in between um this in, little kid I do feel a little bit of inner child stuff with the balloon animal, like I said. But this crown, um, it feel, I mean, if this is love for you guys, as I was saying, I, I'm noticing the two crowns up here being, 
being your wish, your desire here. Your kiddo, you've already got this crown on. You're already worthy, right? You're already enough for whatever this is that you're wanting to pursue. But I do get, it's covering their eyes here. Maybe you don't see that right now. Not that, not that seeing that is the panacea to whatever the pain is, but it sure is a great start to know your worth, to feel your worth, right? Especially if this is a situation where somebody took that from you. Okay. Judgment comes in here to clarify this. The difficulty at this time is releasing something from the past. Whatever the pain is here, this feels, this feels like it is such a deeply ingrained part of yourself at this point. And this is why it's difficult to release. It feels maybe even as the um, spirit itself, your spirit itself. This is not a part of your spirit or your soul. Um, in this card in particular, as I throw it around, this individual is, uh, well, it's a ballerina. So I take this as like moving into authenticity to your dream. What was your dream? You know what stole your dream, okay? The Ten of Swords here. But do you know that it's still possible? Do you know that this dream is still inside of you? This is not a tangible object. There is not a damn thing anybody can do to physically destroy that. They could make you believe that it's possible. And so you do that to yourself. You are the only one who can adjust this energy that's inside of you. But it feels like the difficulty is somebody made you believe that um, they can adjust that for you, and they did. Gross. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull one more here, and then we'll get here on the difficulty, please, spirit, for Libra. Um, and then I'm going to pull an oracle card. <laughs> okay, hold up. Acceptance, accept past and current situations, work through issues gracefully, like the ballerina. Obsession, focusing too much on one situation, the need to take a step back. Moving on, endings that bring healthy beginnings. And awakening, a realization, shift, or discovery. I feel like this realization, shift, or discovery is, like I was saying, we can be fooled into believing that others have more power over us than we do through pain and suffering. And I'm not saying that uh, this wasn't owie, because it, it certainly was. Ten of Swords, it's as owie as you can get, right? The realization is that you have been holding this power all along. But there's a need here for you to move out of the protection of the fortress, the castle, in order to bring the sun in to illuminate this for you. Yes. Okay, let's pull a Blue Angel Oracle card here to close this out for Libra. And then I am 3838 on the timer. I am going to go into an extended reading. We're going to look at direct messages from your higher self. We're going to look at love and advice, career and advice, and then whatever it is you're manifesting right now based on your emotions and your thoughts. So let's get into it. What do you have for Libra, please, Spirit? Okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't make this up. Uh, two did come out here. Truth. There's that Alethea. And healing. So I, <laughs> I love this for you guys. Um, I'm so sorry, truly, whatever this pain is that's that's caused the retreat, that I'm not I'm not happy about for you. But um healing, truth shall set you free, whatever, whatever this is here. This message is very clear. I'm gonna read this from the book real quick. These are pretty short. But um, truth is nine as well. An ending. Something is coming to a close. This pain and suffering. You're done with that. You paid, you paid the price, right? Mindfulness. This card shows up for you today to help you break a pattern that no longer serves a positive purpose in your life. That protection. You are not a prisoner to the past, but a free and beautiful soul. Yes, you are. Full of timeless wisdom. Great compassion and creative power. Yes, all of the all the wands have come through here. Queen of Wands. Trust your innate and transformative healing power and embrace a fresh way of being. 
To release yourself from unhelpful patterns, observe your thoughts and fears and become aware of your inner environment. Each time you have a negative or fearful thought, imagine it dissolving into light and disappearing. Through gentle awareness, patience, and practice, even the most stubborn patterns will eventually fade away. Those strength cards, your hopes and fears. Greater clarity, balance, and a sense of purpose will take their place. You can choose to create more nurturing patterns. To trust is also a choice. <laughs> Dead on here, you guys. You have grown in so many ways in recent years, and a bright future awaits you. Know that you are free, loved, and protected. Ah, I'm getting chills. A secondary message from this card is to be true to yourself by acknowledging how you feel and working in a way that feels right to you always. Love, all that satisfies my soul, is my truth. So I'm going to read the healing one here as well. Peace. Peace be with you and also with you. Accept life as it brings peace and healing. You can start to heal yourself and our planet through acceptance. Acceptance does not mean giving, uh, giving up on improving things. It simply means acknowledging there may be a higher purpose. And I think, was this? Yeah, acceptance was at the bottom here. <laughs> like an echo in here. Um, peace is possible now, whatever your circumstance. Peace will never be any more or less possible than it is now. Life will continue its course, driven by a will higher than our own. Little we do will ever change that. And yet, when we change our perception of our circumstances and surroundings, it makes a difference. Let's yourself out of that castle, realizing that you are protected. Hope and fear cannot occupy the same space. Invite one to stay. Maya Angelou. Oh, you guys love this. Love this for you. So I'm going to move into the extended. Like I said, if you want to join me for that, there are links in the description here. You can check them out individually, or if you want access to all of them, I do have that available on the third tier of a membership and readings are available. Like I said, if you want to check that out. So you guys, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If this resonated with you, thank you for joining me here today. I had a great time and I will see you all very soon. Please take care of yourselves. Okay. Be well.